YouTube, what's up? It's Sly Hunch on. I'm back with another big chop. I'm about to show you how to go from curls to waves. Let's go. All right, Get so first, sliced. I start by cutting the curls off with the shears. I don't want to go in with my guard first because it might get caught on some knots or some curls. So we just about to get real surgical with the shears first. I see the hair. Let's go. But I'm not cutting it down too low because I'm still going to go in and cut it down with the guard. But I'm trying to get majority of the curls off. Alright, the crazy thing is about this client is he used to drop from his college to my college when I was cutting in the dorms. That's like two hours. That was dedication. He used to come with his teammates, his basketball team, whatever, and come get a haircut from me. I didn't even recognize him. He had so much hair. But I usually, when I do a big chop, I go up through the middle just so they can't turn back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going against the grain with like a four. Going against the grain makes the hair all even. So when I'm going against the grain with a four, it's really a three. So I start combing the hair out just to show y'all how much hair he has. So when you do big chops like these, you don't want to cut it down too low. You want to cut it down to the curling so the waves can be bust. So for my shampoo, I'm using Shea Moisture Shampoo. I rate it about a nine out of 10. It's excellent shampoo, good for waves, good for curls. So I'm gonna do three washes. But I'm gonna only show y'all two just for the video's sake. So the first wash is usually for the scrub. The second wash to put the waves in, get it in. Then I'm gonna rinse it out and then lay it down with the third wash. So when you're doing this, you wanna have your client sitting up so you can really just brush all around his hair. So it's gonna be easier to get the waves in if you brush with the way his hair grows. So you're gonna see me brushing at an angle. You know the hair is clean if the hair starts lathering up when you're washing it. So you see me laying it down with my other hand. So you wanna brush and lay it down because the main goal is to lay down the curls. That's how you're gonna get the waves. You see the angles. So you can kinda see his waves coming in in the back if you look. Then I have my client put on a durag they self just so the durag could be tied tight and adjusted to the head correctly. And then you wanna rinse it out and put them under the dryer. Then boom, my boy is spinning. Y'all just seen he had curls. So my client, he wants this haircut, he wants a high taper. So we start by putting in that ball guideline. I'm gonna make sure it's cleaned out real good. And then I debulk with my two. Then I go in with no guard open, about a half an inch. It's really to like the top of the ear almost. Then I close it halfway and start fading out that line. Then you're gonna see me close it just to get the bottom guy line out. Then I go in with my one guard, about another half an inch. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the guard closed. And I like to cut around the ear just to lay it down. So when I line it up, it's going to be crispy. And you see me going in with the one guard closed. Then I go in with the zero guard, fading that line out. And then you see the bulk at the top. I'm going to go back in with my two, clean it up. So when you're trying to clean it up, you can always go back down with the two just to lay it down some more. Then go back up. But you see me clean it up with the one and a half. Then I like to do my detail work with the corners of my masters. This this is going to just make the blend pop for real. Give you that blurry blend. Then we go to the back. I make sure I comb it out. Then I debulk with my two. It's really just the same steps. So 
and when I put my guideline in for the balding, I usually go to the bottom of the ear. I don't want the taper to be too low, but I don't want it to be too high. I'm just trying to take it up to the waves, really. And you want to make sure you always using your comb on these just so you can make sure you're getting all the hair and then you see me sometimes i hold the hair with my comb just to make sure the hair isn't moving when i'm flicking out and then i try to get that that last bulk out with my two so a lot of wavers have bunk at the bottom just because that's where the durag is. You can see the fade coming together real good. So I'll start on my other side. It's the same step, so I'm gonna just let y'all watch me blend. So I go in with my cordless wall detailers. I'm lining up the neck. So when you're lining up the neckline, you wanna make sure you follow through and bend in the ear. So once you follow through around that curve on the top of the ear, it's gonna make your fade pop more on the tapers. So then I cut down the front of the hairline with a two. I don't want to go too low on the front of his hairline just because his hair texture. But you can see how much space I got to work with. But y'all see my lines, they hit. Get sliced. And when you cutting, you want to make sure you're moving the chair, not moving around the client. It's gonna make your work go by faster. But you ain't even gotta use the whole blade when you're lining somebody up, just uh, half of the blade. So I use a compressor. I use my Tomb 45 enhancements. The color I'm using on this is dark brown. So I usually match the enhancements up with the color of their hair. That's why I'm using dark brown. Then I go in with my topics after that, just to add texture. All right, so with the pencils, depending on the skin tone is what pencils I'm gonna use. So his skin tone is fairly light, but it's not too light. So I like to use white and brown. So it's not too light and it's not too dark. And it's just gonna make the hairline pop. It's gonna pop crazy. But I like to brush it in too. It's gonna help me blend it.
I enhanced the neckline too. I use my compressor. I don't use the topics on the neckline because it's not really necessary, but you can if you want to. But you see that boy spinning. Neckline gonna make the waves pop more. The whole haircut just hitting way harder. My boy really just had curls. But I just go back over the white pencil with my clippers, then my razor. My boy looking like a new man. And at the end, I always apply product to my clients. I'm using pomade on his. Then I lay down the hair with this plastic pad. You can use a plastic bag as well to lay it down. Either one works, but I got this pad from the Wave Essentials. And then I go over the hair with shears just to get the loose hairs. The shears just add the finishing touches, so I'm done. And here go the results. He's spinning, he's wavy. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll be back with some more videos. Get sliced.